What's up guys? Happy Saturday. We are exactly one week out from show. Elise just woke up. It's almost 10. She's at this stage now where she needs a lot of rest. We didn't really do that with the last show, so this show we're being very mindful of the rest that she's getting. She just went out to the beach to drink her coffee, and then she's gonna do her morning routine. So when she gets back, I'm gonna do a check-in with her to see how she's feeling one week out from her second show in about a month. Hey. Hey. Good morning. Hold on. I feel like when you walk on uh, the boardwalk looking like, like a homeless person, people know that you did not get in your car, drive to some parking lot, pay $10, walk down the street, and then got to the boardwalk. Let me just tell you, you, you do not look like a homeless person. Those pants. These pants are extra are large. They're Avery the best, Reader Nation. Best things I have ever people don't wear that. done for myself. All right, so we gotta do a quick check-in. So you are exactly seven days out from show. I came up with the best prep coffee. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So I've been doing oat milk like during my prep and then I cut oat milk out when I'm like two weeks out. Now the first show, I didn't cut oat milk out until I was like one week out, which, you know, it's like such a small thing, you know, changing milks. But I do feel like the carbs and the calories like added up, even though I was like tracking everything and would subtract whatever. So I'm only, I've only been doing the 30 calorie almond milk mm -hmm. and then I mixed the smart coffee in there and I put mud water. How is the mud water? I haven't it's tasted really it yet. It's really good. It has uh, cinnamon and turmeric in it. Mm -hmm. So it gives it that little taste and then I add more cinnamon to it and I add like a little bit of like stevia and I mix it all up and it's just so freaking good. It's so good. So one week out, how are you feeling? Let's start off mentally. How are you feeling mentally? A lot better than the first prep. Okay. A lot better. Oh my gosh. Like you have uh, an idea of what's about to happen? Yeah, I'm like, I'm excited. Like, I'm like, let's freaking do this. Last week was really, really bad. Like the week right after my show. That's what I meant. The week right after my show. We didn't even vlog nothing. I had like my period, but I didn't get my period, but I had symptoms. I was so bloated. I was holding on to like five to seven pounds of water. Wow. Felt terrible. For a good week, every time I worked out, I had like food come up in my throat. Oh shit. You know, like I feel like, like I wanted to throw up. Yeah. Like every time, I still somehow managed to squat 250. Like that. Without throwing up. But that shit came up. Wow. Yeah. And then I had that spike day on Sunday. So Sam gave me two spike days which just, I got to have an extra 100 grams of carbs, which was so nice. And actually after the first spike day, which was on Sunday, last Sunday, so a week ago, I woke up feeling so much better. Like literally so much better. How are you feeling physically? Tired, but sleeping in has been helping too. Like More I, rest? Yeah, like just like letting my body rest. So like I've been waking up. I still wake up early. Like I've been waking up at 6.30, but then I like force myself to go back to sleep mm -hmm. and getting that extra like two to three hours has been helping. Cause I literally was like, well this week I have nothing. Like that's my priority. My priority is like literally prep and sleep because I really want to do well at this comp. Um, so because of that being my priority, I don't really have to get up early. I miss getting up early though. I hate getting up late. Mm -hmm. That's the podcast I'm listening to. The universe wants to make your dreams come true. But it's it, it's not like a weird voodoo thing. It, it's not like that. He's just talking about the mindset of like, yeah. so many people have like, you know, phobias where yeah. they're like, the world is out to get me. Like yeah. everything is working against me. And he's just like, switch your mindset to know like, everything that's happening to you. It's because God allows those things to happen to grow you and make you better and like take you to the next step. So spiritually, I've been tapping into all of that of like everything that's happening, everything that has happened on a daily basis or on a weekly basis. Everything is working to grow me. I don't know who said this, but it just resonated like years ago. Somebody said that God has only one goal and that's to mature you. Mm. That's his only goal right because as you're maturing in him then that means that you're you know maturing in your spirituality and that you'll you'll get to spend forever with him because you're maturing and you're getting closer to him so that's his goal a lot of times he allows things in your life because you ask for big things and it's not that he makes those things happen he allows them to happen to put you in that fiery position of making a decision making a choice and refining your character and you have a choice to make sometimes you make the bad choice and then you have to like you literally have to experience that lesson again and again and again until you grow out of it and make the right choice. So you're feeling good, like emotionally, spiritually, physically, you're feeling pretty good. I mean, my body is really heavy. I'm really, really tired. 
Last night was extremely hard. It was like so hard. I was so tempted so many times. Out to eat at the wedding? <sighs> yeah, we went to the fanciest wedding with the fanciest drinks, the fanciest food, the fanciest people. All I wanted was a fancy drink fancy and fancy drink. food. So we're at this gorgeous wedding. Literally so gorgeous, I want to throw up. There's chandeliers in the tree. Everyone's like, like just walking around with their drinks and there's an open bar and it's really, really, really hard, especially when you have no energy and you can't even eat anything. They keep coming by with the snacks. I just want to be honest because I think people think that it's easy, but it's not easy. It's so hard and I'm struggling. Like steak. Oh, I just wanted some steak. The steak was amazing. I had yours as well. I know. It was really good. Yeah. Are you kidding? Why? Why did Homeboy bring this out for me? Can I see your nails? Those you are know, really, really cool nails. It matches my suit. I never used to be tempted like this because my food was a lot. You know, I could eat a lot. But now I feel like I've been hungry for over a month. Like I've probably been hungry, like nonstop hungry. More, way more than a month because I started being hungry like four weeks out from my first show. So I've been hungry for about six, seven weeks. Like every day, it's an everyday thing that you like. Like you're you wake hungry. up hungry. You wake up hungry, you eat, you're hungry after you eat. Compare like losing fat gotcha. is the same thing as like when somebody starts working out for the first time it's easy to start putting on muscle it's really easy like you start noticing it so fast but when you already are pretty big it's really hard to keep putting on muscle mm. it's the same thing with like losing fat so once you get to a point where you're like super lean to get to that like next level leanness that you need for competition where you're like veins everywhere stomach like legs your body does not want to do that like your body fights that your body thinks you're starving so it's like so hard to be in that those last few weeks and like last night with all the fancy food and I'm just I'm, I'm exhausted and I'm starving and then they literally keep bringing the food do you want some it's like che breaded cheese balls I had to say no like 10 times I'm like don't you remember me and my muscles that keep saying no don't bring any more all I've eaten today yesterday the day before <laughs> get it I'm just over here literally like talking about shows and, and looking at pictures of like Yurishna to keep myself motivated. You were right, this is building your strength. This is building my strength. This is the hardest thing I've ever done. Brought the steak in front of me, but it's okay. I had my Diet Coke and lemons. Mm. Here's another trick. Bring BCAs because they're, they taste, I'm almost out. I think we might have to go when it, this is when this is gone. Because this is the only thing that's like, tastes good and giving me life. I think it's in the top of my backpack. <laughs> 